Hello, and welcome to another, another exciting tutorial for Keep.com. Again, formerly known as Infusionsoft. Even though it still says Infusionsoft, eh, we're, screw it, we're running with it. So, uh, just a quick, few quick tips for you. Uh, the quick search, which this is the quick search up here, where it says find a contact. You can search by multiple criteria up here for a quick search. You can find a task, appointment, or a note, look for an order, opportunity, company, or contact. Most of the time you're gonna be looking for a contact. So, of course you can search by name, John Smith. So you got a ton of John Smiths, honestly. There's just one of the most common names in the world. So this becomes a problem inside of Keep. But if you remember the prefix of their phone number, like let's say this duder called you and he's like, you know, I want to buy your stuff. I want to buy all your blue socks that you're selling. And you can't remember who you talked to. Like, you know it's John Smith, but you don't remember the whole number. Well, the cool thing is in keep you can type john smith put another space and random 912 so look at that his prefix is 912 there are two john smiths well it just so happens that this is the same john smith i'm not going to lie about that one but i'm not going to show you the the whole phone number but this is one way to narrow down John Smith's, if you remember their... This is one way to narrow down John Smith's, if you remember their prefix. And you can do it with just the first name, too. So, 912. It'll bring up everyone with the prefix 912 with the name John. Uh, you can also do it by last name, Smith. So there's less of a pool right there. So it's a very, it's a very useful tool that I don't, I don't think people know about because they just know you can search by phone number, email, and name. So incidentally, that is another good lesson here. If you have a database that has been severely neglected, and I mean severely neglected, like it hates its life because it was abandoned by its parents. So you really need to search for duplicates. The best way to search for duplicates, we're gonna look up fakey McFake person here. So we're gonna go into fakey McFake person's uh, profile, or not profile, his record. Uh, and yes, it's a real person. I did not make that up. He's, he's, he's real. Anyway, what you need to do to search for duplicates, and this is the most efficient way, is you need to copy phone number, name, see right there, the name got a duplicate but it, it might not be the same person just from the name but you can check see this has got a different phone number and a different email address so it might not be a duplicate and then you do email so technically those might not be the same people But you can also bring up just their name if you do find the duplicate and just compare right here. You can even click on notes, tasks, appointments, whatever you want to do. So these are just some quick tips. Uh, this is not a long video, but these are just little things that I found and easy ways to figure things out in Keep. Now, if this video helped you or you didn't know any of this information, definitely subscribe to me, throw me a like. And 
share this with anybody else who uses frustrating, I mean, uh, keep.com or actually infusionsoft.com because that's what it says. But you will go to keep.com to find this website. Again, thank you for watching. I'm the Ripper. Bye.